Uh, talk about the, the secondary the, with all the departures and uh, how the progression not only today with like Keith Washington and some others, but uh, overall on spring ball. You know, I'm really happy with our young guys. I mean, they're all young. Uh, I thought Brandon Watson did a good job today. Um, but he's done a good job all spring, so that's not surprising. Uh, Lavert Hill's been hurt a lot, so him getting back and getting repetitions was good. David Long only made it for three quarters, but nothing serious, but he's been fighting it as well. So, you know, we've really had to lean on the young guys, Ben St. Jews, Ambry Thomas, uh, and, and a couple of our younger roster guys, Mike Mitchell. and So all those guys were out and well informed today. Um, thought we did a pretty good job for, you know, a uh, good chunk of the time. Obviously, there's so much to learn as a young player the first time you come in and play in front of an audience. It's just different. So uh, I think it was an important task that we did it. Uh, you know, obviously, we were challenged on both sides of the ball. I'm sure Dred would feel the same way. Uh, you know, neither of us, you know, unveiled our attacks. Uh, but at the same time, you just want to see you guys compete and play hard and see see where we can go technique and fundamental-wise. Middle front row, Adam. Uh, Don, remember Josh Uche wasn't able, didn't participate in bowl practices. Okay. Pretty close to blocking a punt today. Devin was in the backfield a lot. What'd you oh, think? yeah, geez. Uh, Josh, Josh has had some good days. Uh, we have a, a few things special for him. Um, so when we let him do those things, he's been exceptional. But he's got a long way to go. You know, again, he's a guy that was a defensive end in high school who I absolutely loved because he was fast. Uh, now we're teaching him to play, you know, linebacker. Uh, that's a huge challenge for him. So, you know, uh, that's a big deal. You know, Devin Bush is exactly what, what we knew he'd be in this type of environment. You know, he's played a year ago. Um, you know, he's certainly right in form to you know, step in here and do a good job. Between him, Mike McCray, and, and, and Robo helping out at times, you know, I feel good about those three guys. We're really looking for the fourth guy. And I'm not sure we know that yet. So and, and from a linebacker standpoint, that would be my huge task. Sorry about that. Was there anything that jumps out at you as far as progression for Devin? Is he... Is he faster? Is he stronger? Is he um, getting to the I mean, play just quicker? Look at him. You know, I teased him yesterday. He walked by me. He didn't have a shirt on. I go, I remember him. last year you were a short, pudgy guy. <laughs> and uh, he's chiseled. He's really, uh, he's got a Division One body now. Um, I'm asking him to play two positions. Played pretty much one today. Uh, and I'm very pleased with where he's at. Obviously, you know, this is a day about individual evaluation. You know, again, I think Drev would say the same thing. We're, guys are playing out of, out of sorts in different units and spots and all that, but it's about your performance individually and, and just see where you, where you take it, you know, from, uh, from that standpoint. Back left, Justin. Tim, I'll start with you. Uh, since you're, you know, comfortable up there, ready to answer this one. What, what is the number one thing you look for individually in this game, with it being kind of jumbled and switching teams at times? And just look how they're handling the scheme. If they understand your concepts, if they're playing fast and physical, uh, making good decisions. Um, you know, and the, and the competitiveness atmosphere. You know, just getting in there and seeing them competing and, and, and fixing the problem when the problem that occurs. You know, through that. Um, you know, that's, that's the biggest thing. And then, there, you know, as you go through spring ball, it's, you know, there's, it kind of starts to filter and, and guys start to raise up in positions you see. But uh, it's a great atmosphere today to go out there and play in front of those cr uh, crowd, and, and, and it's good for the younger guys in our program to experience that. Other questions for Coach Drevner or Coach Brown? You raise your hand, I can get to you. Wojo, second, left, uh, second row on the left here. Oh, just go. Oh, uh, Don. People look at your defense and 10 starters gone, one start, and I know you've talked about you like the young talent. It, have you seen enough progress through this spring to believe that if not the number one defense in the country next year, it has the talent to be as Well, that's a, that's a, that's a mouthful right there. Yes. Uh, without question. Uh, I'm very excited about our group. Um, we've gotten really quality leadership on all three levels. Uh, Mo Hurst. 
Sean Gary is a young guy, but boy, he's been a leader. He's played very, very well throughout spring. Uh, those two guys I feel really, really good about. Brian Monet's had a solid spring. Chase Winovich is better. Uh, you know, obviously, we split those guys today. Uh, you know, uh, really happy with Kalee Hudson and playing Viper. And, uh, you know, and I've said this a hundred times, Glasgow's found a home, you know. You know, he's not a linebacker, he's not a safety. So we found him a home, you know, and he's playing Viper, and, and uh, you know, he and Kalik will share, share that job and continue to compete, which you absolutely love. Uh, Noah Furbush has had a really good spring. We mentioned Uche. Um, I told you about the linebackers. Uh, Tyree Cannell's been good. Uh, nicked up a little bit uh, towards the end of spring, but uh, has shown me a lot of leadership and athleticism and play, has played and played fast. Um, so happy about him. Uh, Josh Mattel has been nicked up. I think that showed a little bit today. Um, Jamaric Woods didn't even uh, take a snap, which was, that was difficult for the, uh, for the blue defense because we had to go to another guy. And, uh, you know, I would have liked to have seen him get that work. He needs it. But, uh, the good, you know, we've got good young players at all three levels. You know, the key is, you know, in the way Coach Hopper does it, you know, we get enough repetitions. They just went through, you know, a season of football in spring, and now we'll repeat it again in, in August, and uh, then we'll see kind of where we're at. And remember, we only have to put 11 out there. So uh, that's kind of an important deal. And, but the competition will be keen, and we've got great young men that are in competition. Middle right, Steve Kornacki. Don, uh, Devin Bush was all over the field, it seemed like, today. Talk about what he's given you this spring and the progress he's made from last season to now. Well, um, you know, when he came in, huge shoes to fill. We made him the number two will virtually when he walked in the door. I think Mike McCray was a really good role model for him. Uh, I think he really, you know, he's a mature guy. His football's important to him. He's from a football family. Uh, you know, I asked him in the beginning of spring, I said, listen, I want you and Mike and Robo to divide the work of the ones. Uh, I know what I know what you're capable of. I know what Mike's capable of. And, you know, we wanted to make sure that we saw Robo in a highly competitive situation to see where he's at. So... Uh, you know, he just welcomed the role. It's so nice when you have a young guy like that and he can play two spots. You could ask some guys to do that and they look at you like, are you kidding me? But uh, he handled it really, uh, really, really with ease. He seems to have just a really good nose for, for the ball. Yeah, he's a, good, he's a really good player. You know, uh, we're excited to see him in, uh, when it's live and in color, that's for sure. Middle left, Chris Ballas. Can you talk about what you saw from the freshman early in the release? Yeah, uh, let's see. I mentioned Jamar didn't go. I wish, ah, I wish you'd have seen him today. He's really, he's really been showing some things. Uh, I thought Jalen Kelly Powell jumped in there uh, and did some good things. We fooled around with him, and we have fooled around with him a little bit at nickel uh, and strong safety. So uh, I thought he, you know, certainly uh, handled himself well out there today. Um, and did a good job with it. Uh, ben St. Just, uh, really solid for about three quarters. You know, struggled on a couple of uh, fade balls at the end. But you know, a lot of that, a lot of times, that's focus and concentration of a young guy, and you're grinding, 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 and, and, and that, you know, just the, the mental fatigue of competing at a high, high level kind of gets to you. But I'm very, very confident as to where he will end up. He's six foot three. He's long. He's athletic. He's fast. Uh, Ambry Thomas is everything I thought he'd be. Um, he just learns and gets better every day. He's not perfect, um, but you know we're asking all young guys. I mean, those are young young guys, you know, to compete in first and second left tiers, and uh, you know they've all handled it really really well. Ben Mason at the mic position. I mean, if you looked in his eyeballs, they'd be water in there because he's swimming. Uh, it's, it's not an easy deal transitioning, um, but 
what we've seen some physical surges from him. You know, I think he's got a real chance to be a real tough guy between the tackles. And he runs really well for a big guy. And, uh, you know, Jeter, uh, you know, very, very interesting guy. Corey Malone Hatcher's been backed up. But uh, I thought Jeter played very well out there today uh, in a limited role. And you, you never know how that's going to go in your first time. But uh, he really exceeded expectations of mine today. Got time for a few more, starting with John in the front right. Coach Dan, I know people try to draw conclusions out of one practice, but talk about Wilton Spate's effort over the course of the spring ball so far. It's been outstanding. Wilton's done a great job leading this team, leading the offense. Um, he's really progressed under Pep. You know, Pep and Coach have really done a good job. And, and um, just his football awareness and seeing the whole field and reading coverages and different things with some protection things we're layering on him. And, He's just really has done a good job understanding and, and does a great job leading us. Steve, front right. Yeah, going back to the early enrollees, both of you guys can get in on this one. Do you, do you guys have both been coaching a long time. Do you, do you feel like high school kids are coming in more and more prepared than ever uh, for the college game? Yeah, there is. I mean, there, there's some kids that come in, they're ready, you know. Um, you know, for example, like Cesar Ruiz comes from IMG Academy. You know, he's lived away. He understands the regimen of you know waking up and going to class and, and going to study hall and things. Um, but it, it's there's some growing there's some growing pains in there. But it's all good. You know, it's it's part of the process of them getting in here and getting their feet wet in college and and uh, meeting new people and, and getting us meeting us as coaches and getting to know how our style of coaching and things. But uh, uh, they all have done a great job. They really have. And, and Coach Harbaugh does a good job leading it and uh, really uh, taking those guys underneath his wing and developing them, as, as well as us as coaches. You know, we are very, very conscientious of that, uh, and that uh, we're, we're kind of like the mother hen, you know, just always double-checking on them and making sure that uh, we're, we're, we're protecting them uh, because uh, that's, they're very, very important to us in this transition. Okay, last question. We've got to get our players in here. Justin, back left. You guys are turning the page and going to Rome now for a unique couple of practices. What are you guys expecting out of that both? Personally and professionally, I'm really excited about it. I think uh, you know to be able to take the players over there, and you know my wife's going to come, and I know coach's wife's going to come, and just experience that you know as a team. What a great team bonding! And like share uh, with the Italian people in Italy just the, the American game of football, and, and take our players to different places and, and see the great history of Europe and, and Italy and. Um, you know, there's nothing better than that than the guys getting on a plane and, and going to stay together and practice over there. And it's going to be a phenomenal experience. So I'm really, 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 I'm, I'm excited about it. I mean, it's going to be fun. Yeah, I'm, I, I, I'll, I'll just second that. I mean, what a great opportunity for our players to have that opportunity where they're the only ones in college football who are going to get that opportunity this year. So you don't take that for granted. Um, for me, we got three more practices over there. We got one next week. I got to think about getting ready for Air Force and the triple option. So that's going to be majority of my time. But uh, I'm looking forward to going to Rome. And Coach has really got a tremendous plan for our players to experience that culture. So pretty exciting.